By the gods, that's a female orc, here, in the human town, and she's taken one of them prisoner. I must notify the town guard right away, and Master Marcus. Together we must fight to the last drop of blood, and... I can hear you! Stay where you are. I'm, uh... I'm a mage. So I see. A, a dangerous battle mage. Now that, on the other hand, I find doubtful. Who... who are you? What do you want here, and how did you get here? A lot of questions. Give me one good reason why I should answer them. Her name is Elizabeth. She's come here for the annual beauty contest and has brought a golden pegasus with her. He's called Bob. Pegasi or Pegasuses? Um, anyway, they're always white, and no one would name their pegasus Bob. I am a bounty hunter and just passing through. Uh, are bounty hunters allowed to simply tie up you? Certainly. Bounty hunters and merchants are neutral in this war. Nobody wanted the bounty hunters. I'm just waiting for Bill the Merchant who has my provisions. Then I'm on my way. I have no idea what's going on here, but the airship could be exactly what I need for my expedition. Who did you just speak to? Uh, to no one, really. So your name isn't Elizabeth? I am known as Mazaz. Or Sugar Lips, Greeny, or just Oi, you fella! And she is one lousy bounty hunter. That's right. I only catch imbeciles. Those who are even more stupid than me. Where are you taking your, your, your prisoners? That's none of your business, dwarf. They know, and that's enough. I'm not a dwarf. I'm a gnome. Too right, Shorty. Don't take any nonsense. Turn her into a sheep. I can only transform rabbits into a kind of a sheep. Great. That's helpful. I... I have to go. If you see the merchant, can you tell him that I'll rip his ears off if he doesn't turn up here soon? The pillar holds up this little roof. It looks pretty strong. The pillar holds up this little... My fault? They gave me the wrong coordinates. The coordinates were correct. Shield hand is one of these down at the gate, too. Yeah, great. Some kind of, of weird orc system. Look at me. Do I look like an orc? Maybe they should have given me the coordinates for a human navigation system. Perhaps you could have simply listened while things were being explained to you at great I'm length. I'm a mage. Not a fighter. I've been a captain for 15 so, years. I don't, I don't need thing things advanced. explained to me. Quite obviously you do. At the very least you might have noticed that it was not a stinking headquarters when you landed in the wedding Ooh, that cake. Is, um, very, uh, the bridesmaid looked pretty suspect. Ah, so that was why you decided to strip to search them, but was it? I hope it? I never meet it in real life. A large net. Might be a fishing net, or maybe one My of those fault. cargo nets. They gave me the wrong coordinates. The coordinates were correct. Yeah, great. Some kind of weird orc system. Look at me. Do I look like an orc? Maybe they should have given me the coordinates for a human navigation a system. Orc. It's been used a lot. Perhaps you could have simply listened while things were being explained to you at great length. I've been a captain for 15 years. Cargo. I don't heavy. need things Maybe explained to me. Cotton or the like. Quite obviously you do. At the very a least you might have noticed heavy. that Maybe it was not a stinking headquarters like. when you landed in the wedding cake. The bridesmaid the looked long pretty down, suspect. You wouldn't catch me standing ah, on it. So that was why you decided to strip search them, was As it? As someone who comes from the mountains, I'm not really an expert on ships, but that's called a thingy. I don't know what that pipe's for, but it has something to do with, uh, airships. As someone who comes... She really does look terrifying. I mean, I don't know what orc women usually look like, but that... I don't think I should really talk to her unless I... Ooh! Hi. I'm Wilbur. Who are you? 
Someone with a tiny problem, as you can see. Could you do me a favor and whack that green lady over the head? Come on, Nate. I'm only doing my job here. I know the job market's tough, but yours is going to cost me my neck. Undoubtedly. Are you a pirate or something? No. Yes. Well, I have been called that occasionally, but I'm just about as much of a pirate as Mazaz here is a ballet dancer. I'm the captain of this proud ship, the Mary. I'm a freelance treasure hunter. You're a swindler. And you're a terrible ballet dancer. I like ballet. You're a professional treasure hunter. So you know your way around sunken temples and the like. Of course. I have traveled all across the skies to the ends of the earth. I've fought cyclops and seen things that a man probably shouldn't have. Such as Mazaz here, for example. Suppose I needed to travel to a certain island, and I could show you the island on a map. Could you bring me there? Well, apart from the fact that I'm sitting here in a cage, then sure! Then we'll just have to free you. <clears throat> Hello? I still happen to be here. What's that got to do with it? Hmm. See you later. Take care, Shorty. Captain Nate is a treasure hunter. And he has his own ship. Someone like him would be perfect for my team. But how do I get past that orc lady? And all on my own? I've never seen a creature like that before. It's similar to the demon from the inn. Maybe it's just an animal. It... it could be a kind of otter. A pork you otter I don't know what to ask him. And... Strange idea, stretching a map over a globe like that. How are you supposed to use it? The flower keeps floating away from me. Maybe it's shy. Floating furniture is really practical when you want to mop the floor. That is probably the thickest book I've ever seen. It says Encyclopedia Fantastica here. Hmm. Fantastic knowledge in just one volume. The strange thing is that most of the pages are completely blank. I mean, our world isn't that uninteresting. The strange thing is that... Now that's what I call magic. Fantastic. A huge map of the entire country, and I've only seen a tiny corner of it to date. There are a lot of small unnamed islands on the map, one of which is the island of Sordia, where the artifact of divine fate is hidden. But which one? Dad always says, what you don't have in your head, you'd better have in your books. I would have thought there'd be more books, yeah? No wonder the Archmage has gone elsewhere to seek information. Hmm, there's something on top of that cabinet. Some papers of some sort. Maps, maybe. That's too high, I can't reach. That's a telescope. Grandad has one. The question is, is it a masterpiece of technology or magic? Or perhaps both? How does the Archmage get up there? Maybe he's a floating chair. Wow! No idea what these globes are supposed to represent, but they're gorgeous.
still can't let you go up, my lovely. I will say it once more. I have to give the Archmage a book. It's important. I don't know anything about a book. And believe me, whatever the Archmage is up to, it's more important than your stupid book. But... End of discussion. Only graduate mages or people with an invitation from the Archmage can go into the tower. And to be precise, I don't see any of those at the moment, sorry. Hello. Hmm, hi. You're an elf, right? Indeed, and you are a kind of wood goblin? I'm a gnome, Wilbur Weathervin. Master Wilbur Weathervin. Pleased to meet you. You're a mage? With diploma. Then you can go into the upper town and into the mage tower. That's exactly where I've just come from. Could you take me up there? Who are you? My name is Ivadora Eleonora Clarissa, Princess of Silverwood. Ooh, and you're a real princess from Miss from Silverwood. Call me Ivo. He's called Cheap Cheap. I overheard you talking to the city guard about a book. Do you need to take it to the Archmage? I have to. It's very important. Could it be that you got this book from a gremlin secret cellar? A gremlin who shortly before had been ejected over the White Ridge Mountains? Get out of my brain, you mage! You almost dropped the professor on my head. He sent me here with a secret message for the Archmage. Oh, were you able to bring him the news? Yes, it was very disquieting. I believe that the book you're carrying explains just where an extremely powerful artefact can be found. Yeah, the gremlin did hint at something of that sort. He was very concerned. He's got every reason to be. The Archmage is gone. He's trying to find out exactly where the artefact is hidden. And then I'm supposed to go get it, quietly and secretly, along with two friends. But it's here. This book tells us where the artefact can be found. Unfortunately, the Archmage doesn't know that. This whole story is too much for one norm. I think we should work together. I should really be at home in the elf borough listening to Uncle Ignatio droning on. I am in enough trouble already. Don't you understand? This book explains the exact location of the artifact of divine power. That's precisely the information the Archmage is looking for. Then take the book and wait for him here. And if the shades are faster than we are? What if they manage to extract the information from the old gnome before the Archmage returns? And what then? Are we to fight the shades single-handed? And what are we talking about here, by the way? What is it that the Shadow Army want to get their hands on? I can't tell you that here. How about this? I'll get you into the Mage Tower somehow, and there I'll show you the Professor's message and... And then I can decide whether I'm in or not. It's a deal. I'll be back. And I will wait. Hello, Evo. Have you worked out a way to get me into the... Not yet, but I'm with... Hmm. A colourful bird. If it were not impossible, I would say he was looking at me rather reproachfully. The King of Thieves and the other rats have left. I can't expect any help from that quarter anymore. The Seastone City Coat of Arms. I recognize it from the map. It looks a little worse for wear, oh, like everything else here. Welcome, Master Wilbur. Mr. Shieldhand, I must insist that you allow the young elf over there entrance to the upper town. No. But, you know, it, it's about that thing. What thing? The thing we talked to the Archmage about. The important thing. I don't know what you mean. Nothing unusual has happened. And even if it had, then we'd be forbidden to discuss it. 
and most certainly there would have been a crystal clear order to let nobody into the upper town. But no matter what the reason, do we understand each other? As an accredited maid, I must unfortunately bid you adieu. Very well, Master Wilbur. I don't particularly care for Mr. Shieldhand. I'm really happy I don't have any more questions. The pillar holds up this little roof. It looks pretty strong. Good idea. Hmm, you've already kept that promise once before. Of course. But what's with this oh-so-important message, then? Come with me to the mage tower. I'll show you there. Hurry, or none of us will be in control of our own destinies. Help us, Master Alistair. You're our only hope. This is not good at all. Now do you understand? We have to do something. If the Archmage hasn't returned soon, we have to find the island's location using the book and then rescue the artifact ourselves. You're right. We have to do something. No mortal should be in possession of such power. I'm in. Yay! And there's an airship moored right outside. Maybe Cap and Nate will fly us to the island. One thing at a time. First we have to find out where this island is. There are several large pieces of paper on top of the bookcase. Could possibly be maps. No problem. That looks like a tactical map to me. There are troop movements marked on it. Presumably that was years ago. One of the maps is a rough copy of the map on the wall. I can use it to mark where the island is situated, but we'll have to locate it first. One of the maps is a smaller... Come on, Wilbur. Let's have a look at what the book tells us about Sordia's location. Okay, now. What do we have here? A story about a magician and his sheep. Oh, a story about mages. With pictures. You won't like this story, believe me. Here. This is the travel log of a fairy explorer. In it, he describes how he landed on an island. He sketched the temple ruins. And the professor believes that the artifact is in this temple, on the island of Sordia. Exactly. The fairy explorer described his route very precisely. Never heard of it. Me neither. We have to find it. The fairy explorer's journey is described here step by step. We have to find the trip's starting point, today's Krumpak. Now then, Krunpak. I will find you eventually. I don't believe this. I just can't find the place. Me neither. It isn't on the map. But why would this fairy explorer describe a place that doesn't exist? Or did it once exist but is now abandoned? That's it. Hmm? Krumpak is the name of the place in the Shades language. When the fairy explorer was there, it was a Shade town. But this map is new, so it'll have the human name of the town. So, so we have to find out what the town of Krumpak used to be called? Exactly. A few papers, magic gadgets, and junk. That's a swamp creeper, a plant-eating plant. It creeps up on its quarry and chokes them from behind. They present no danger to beings made of flesh and blood. 
They belong to the group of vegetarian cannibal plants. That's the Encyclopedia Fantastica, a torrid attempt to squeeze all the world's knowledge between two book covers. I can't read it. These distrustful mages have written it using magic ink. That's the Encyclopedia... will only let mages and people with prior invitations up there. Looking at your clothes, my guess is that you pretended to be a mage. I'm not pretending to be a mage. I am a mage with a diploma. I find it quite difficult to believe that a young gnome from the White Ridge Mountains is a mage. But it's true. I did the training with Master Marcus down in the city. You learn everything that one needs to know for the mage diploma in a few hours. Aye. Wasn't easy, though. Almost killed me. Enough said. Let's move. Right. The strange thing is that most of the pages are completely blank. I mean, our world isn't that uninteresting. Hello, Evo. What's up? Off we go. We still have a lot to do. If you say so. Grotesque. There's nothing to say. Simply grotesque. Climb down there. If we need something from the lower town, then Wilbur can get it. The rope, however, could come in useful. A halberd, but I have no intention of fighting. Muscle power has never got ourselves anywhere. I hope you now agree that we can't stay out of this business any longer. No one, neither the orcs nor the humans could deal with such power. Good. Goods are transported in bales. This one here appears to be very heavy. Goods are transported in bales. This one here appears to be very heavy. Goods are transported. One could get onto the airship via the plank, were it not for an ugly orc woman standing on it. Modern airship parts are made out of metal. The metal frames built for heavy loads. Orcs are tough, strong and aggressive. That one there looks fit. I don't know if I could eliminate her. If at all, it would be with speed. Or with brains. Hello, orc. What do you want, elf? I need the human for a few days. Will you lend him to me? No. I'm carrying out a task and I'll fulfil it. Then I'll take him. If you can get past me. Meow. Shut it, Nate. There's never a mud wrestling pit when you need it most. Do you really think that you have a ghost of a chance against Mazaz? Who are you? I am Mazaz. Is that a strapping master swordsman that you've got locked up there? I need him. <laughs> hey, marry me, elf. I want that human and I'll have him before sundown. Ooh, elfie. I'm looking forward to seeing how you're going to achieve that, elf. 
How about this little competition? Elf against Orc. It'll be a classic. As long as it's not going to be about who can best howl at the moon by a swamp, then the result is a given. <laughs> what about dental care, general education, or thunderous thighs? Shut it, Nate. So, what do you suggest? How about with a bit of ballet? <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. Only a young elf weed could suggest something like that. Young elf? I was here even before you orcs were invented. Then you should possess some kind of skills that go beyond dancing around a bit. So, what do you suggest? You think that you're strong, so how about a bit of arm wrestling? You are joking, aren't you? An elf beating an orc warrior at arm wrestling? <laughs> Never! So, are you willing to give it a shot? Of course. Why not? Come here. Okay, let's do it. Hey, Elf. I said let's do it. Let me know when you're ready. Shall we warm up? Right. I'm ready. Shall we start? Huh. What's the matter? Fed up already? Here, Ivo, a power elixir. Maybe you can use it. Thank you. I just have to be careful Cheap Cheap doesn't get wind of this. He'd tell on me at home. Mm, I can't feel anything. I wonder if it worked. Hello, Orc. What do you want, Elf? How about another round of arm wrestling? Now, there's someone who likes to be humiliated. I will flatten you. We'll see about that. This time I'm playing for real. Of course! <laughs> I was holding with ease. I just wonder how long that power elixir works. The net is now lying on the plank. You can't cross the plank without stepping on the net. I don't know what to ask him, and I don't want to appear too curious. The net is now lying. Yes. Magic. There's magic at play here. An elf would never cheat, as well you know. I want revenge. Perhaps some other time. Take the rope. It'll be of more use to you. Huh. 
Hello, Orc. What do you want, Elf? Aren't there any real opponents? I think she's fab, don't you, Zazzy? <gasps> Hello, Orc. What do you want, Elf? So, another round? You were just lucky. Of course. First, I'll throw the rope over that crossbeam. That looks like a good trap to me. Yes! Magic! There is magic at play here! An elf would never cheat as well you know. I want revenge! Perhaps some other time. I can't do it. Oi! What's going on? Ivor! What the? Now! Oops. That wasn't supposed to happen. Well, hey, that was brilliant. Get us out of here. Hello. Hi down there. Mizaz's departure was a little abrupt. Yes, yeah, somehow I always have problems with the fine tuning on my traps. Main thing is, she's gone. Ivo and I have to travel to a certain island as quickly as possible. Will you take us there? What's going on there then? Oh, it's uh, an archaeological expedition. All right. You owe us that, Nate. We've rescued you from certain death. Oh, yeah, I'd have worked something out myself. And, my pretty one, to you I'm Captain Bonnet. I'm not interested in a scientific expedition. If you don't want to help us, then just stay up there till the bounty hunter comes back. And what do you think the green lady's gonna do to you when she does get back? You've got a point there. On the other hand, you still need my airship. And do you know how to steer a flying ship? Fine then. The Archmage himself has sent us on a mission. The Archmage? <laughs> I'm not so sure I want to get myself dragged into this. But this is vital to the Alliance. I'm not on the Alliance's side. Of course, I'm not on the Shadow Army's side either. I'm a... neutral. I leave them alone, they leave me alone. Capturing you and wanting to kill you is something that you call leaving you alone. Well, put it this way, I'd prefer not to attract quite so much attention from now on. Mizaz is going to come after me again, and it's not really appropriate for me to be going into war waving a banner for the Alliance. Well, it's about this... shh... thing. This... thing? And you don't want to tell me what this thing is? Are you scared I'll go off looking for it myself? Is it that valuable? Well, actually... It... Uh, yes. Ah, and where is it exactly? On an island. We'll show you when we're in the air. Well, I reckon for 50%... But, you're alone. There's two of us, just like you two. You're counting your pet as well? Well, you have. Hey! A third. You fly us there and then stay out of the way once we've arrived. 
Okay, fine, we're in. Now will you get us down at last? You are a human, therefore I don't trust you. We'll leave you there until we've got a map with our destination marked on it. Oh, come on! Just so that you don't get any stupid ideas while we're gone. Oh, great. <laughs>